Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you my super easy DIY candle recipe. We're scenting these with natural essential oils and products, which makes them safe to have in the home, safe to have around your babies and kids, which is a big thumbs up for me. And I'm going to be using some repurposed things here. So I've got a jar that was from an old candle that I just put in the freezer and popped the wax out. I've also got a little planter I bought off of Amazon that I just think is super cute. And I've even got some glass jars from products like shea butter and stuff that I've gotten before. So I'm going to be making some candles today and showing you how I do it. Links to all the ingredients and things you'll need will be in the description. Let's get to it! So the first thing that we're going to need is some beeswax. I like these white beeswax beads because they melt a lot faster, they're really fine, and I can make a few candles all at once. So I dump that entire one pound bag into my double boiler, and then I'll add in a half cup of unrefined coconut oil. This is going to help the candles to burn more evenly as opposed to just straight beeswax, and it also helps it melt faster too, which is a plus when you're making it. While that's melting on the stove, I like to pick out my containers, and I go back and forth with what I use for my candles. You can use virtually anything that won't melt with the hot wax inside, so choose your containers, and then we're going to measure out and cut our wick. I use a 100% cotton wick, and I find that just works really well, and I take these little base things, I don't know what they're called, but you stick the wick through it, and then you're going to want to crimp it so that it stays in. And normally you would use like pliers or something. I just use the back of my scissors because that's what I had. And then you're going to want to tape the wick stand down so that it stays in place when you pour in the hot wax. So yeah, just stick that on. And I use a pencil usually just to tap it in. It doesn't have to be super secure in there. You just want to make sure it's not going to float up when the wax is in. When the beeswax is all melted with the coconut oil, that's when I pull it off the heat and I pick out my essential oils. So this time I was adding some lemongrass, some vanilla, and also eucalyptus. I wanted these candles to be good for summer so that I could kind of repel insects when we're having parties outside or if we've got the windows open. So I added first two tablespoons of vanilla extract in a jojoba oil. I also did two tablespoons of lemongrass which is an essential oil and then I also added one tablespoon of eucalyptus oil which you could totally add like citronella or there's a few other different ones like tea tree that repel insects but it's totally up to your preference and what you prefer and then I just pour the wax into my candle containers and I tape the wick up so it stays straight and I use a pencil just to tape that up there and then I'm just gonna add some toppings. So I've got some rose petals here. I have calendula and also some lavender. I just really love to kind of mix and match with different leaves and dried herbs and things. I think it adds a little bit of extra, I don't know, decoration to the candle and I just like how it looks. And you can also add them at different times of the drying process. If you add them a little bit late, then they're gonna be more on the top. If you add them really early when it's still really warm, they'll kind of go throughout and into the middle of the candle. But you get to pick how you want it to look and how you decorate. So then once everything is dry, the wax is set, that's when I go ahead and cut the wicks. And there you go, you have this beautiful candle. I think these make amazing gifts. I think they make a really fun girls night. Everybody can make their own customized scents and put their own flair into decorating. And I also think these would just be a nice little thing to have around the house, right? For making your own natural candles, beeswax to cleanse the air, and a really nice essential oil fragrance. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see me DIY next on my channel. Because I write all the good ones on a big list, and I do them, so let me know down in the comments. And if you're looking for any of these specific ingredients, I've got them linked down below in the description, and also a $10 off coupon code if you are new to shopping on Vitacost. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all soon. Bye guys!